Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Oracle of Seasons, this is episode... Uh, 18, we'll say 18, it'll be in the video uh, <laughs> title name anyway. What we're going to do in this episode is level 7, Explorers Crypt. So let's make a start. What I like about this place is how unique it is compared to every other dungeon. Like I said in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, there's something a little bit quirky about it, a little bit different. And it's... it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. You could consider it the horror dungeon of Oracle of Seasons, just like the... Um, what's it called? The Shadow Temple in Oracle... in Ocarina of Time. Or... Yeah, it's really good. Shit! Once all four lights go out in that room, you are going to be um, set back to the beginning of the dungeon. Which is not good because it happens somewhere a bit further into the dungeon too. That's fine, we, we made it through fine anyway. But now we've got to go back through! I wonder what happened this time. I wonder if we'll make it. And we can't go for the stairs either. That's... that's a fact. <laughs> so what we need to do is go for what is the first of three mini-bosses in this place. Uh, I can't quite remember the name. I think they tell us as soon as we get there. Oh, never mind. I think this is definitely the longest dungeon so far in the game. So, we want to be doing this in two episodes rather than one, I think. You never know, we might get through it quick enough, but probably not. Look at that, the Noble Soul kills them in one hit instead of them splitting up into two enemies afterwards. So that's always nice. Kill all the enemies in this room and you get a ring. We'll appraise that later. Otherwise, we want to go up this way and chuck on uh, this. In the case of this dungeon, we won't be stockpiling keys, small keys. We'll get one key and then use it, you know, straight away. That's the sort of way that this dungeon works. Here's mini boss number... Sorry, let's move the mic a bit. Here's mini boss number one. He is... Not giving his name. Oh shit, I fell down. I don't think it matters, no. All you've got to do is avoid the sword and just kill him like normal. It's not hard. And now we can go... You know the area where the fire was? Shit, I didn't do that. But it's fine now. What we want to do first is a little secret area, which is sort of secret, but not really. In the bottom of the wall. Head in here and we will get the compass. So that's number one. That'll be handy. Of course it'll be handy. When are they not? Uh, this and this. We want to put on the power bracelet and the box feather. I love the item that we get from this dungeon. It's so good. So, so good. Anyways, we want to go left first. Let's put the sword back on. Oop, hold on. One got this way. Oop, oop, let's get rid of these. Here we go. Oop. Just jump up where it is right now. No? Uh, okay. It's down one and left one, so let's go up now. Don't put it on the blue square, it's not gonna really help. It'll just be up there. That's not what you want. Okay, we've got another small key. We shall head back and use that somewhere else now. Right, kill this armor. When we got the magic boomerang, we learned that we could kill these armor with <laughs> the magic boomerang. So just keep going. It's random which one is the one you can push. Looks like it's this one this time. So we wanna push it around. There's no point going right from this area. It's not gonna help for now. We'll need to later on, but not for now. Whoop, I <laughs> keep walking into walls like a pleb. It happens, it happens. Let's just destroy these moments. We'll, we'll get something out of it. This is where we want to use the key. Um, yeah, I think, I think we'll go this way first. What we want to do now, we need to get another key, so... This is optional, completely optional. I'm going to do it just to show you how to get the map. We want to go up, then back down. And we saw that we need to take it... Oop, nope! Back up. Back up. And back down. We want to go to the right blocks first, to get our way out of this. And now... 
Actually, we probably could have done it without taking this long route. We definitely could have. But we can jump over the trampoline, try not to land on it. We want to go through the little hole that we saw earlier, which is by here. And go across. This is like the first room, wasn't it? Don't get hit by that or you won't be able to use your sword. Alright, yeah. That's what we wanted. So, just keep going a moment. Now we'll go back up. There's no point going left and we can't go right because there's a locked door. So we're going to go down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay away. Definitely a lot quicker with... <laughs> shit. With the rocks feather. Look out for the bats. We are going to have to uh, deal with bats without the sword for a moment. I just hope that they don't hit us. Actually, you know what? Never mind. We'll just put it on this. Put it on this one. We don't need to jump anyway. Ah, shit. Hold on a moment. Make sure on the upper squares, apparently. And that you're on south. The magnetic south. Go to these. It's always health in those for some reason. Can't go right for there yet until we have the new inventory item. This is a puzzle that normally gets me a bit. Fortunately, I have it written down because I've already done it. Done this dungeon once, practicing. So, this one and this one. As you can see, it would just push the armour up, whichever way. It would just attract towards the button sort of thing. And you needed to put them on all the green squares, and then the key appears in the middle. So, that's all that is. It's easy enough now. Now we need to get back to where that locked door was. I'm not sure if you remember where it is, but I'll show you. Come on, come on, back to where the trampoline was. I know I could cut out quite a lot from this place, but I want to show you the way back and everything, because it's quite a confusing place. It's pretty big. Ish. So I don't want anyone to get lost at all if they're using this as a walkthrough, you know? So... I don't know, you. Right, okay, mini boss number two. What we want to do is light up every one of these and keep the sword on. So let's just... Oh wait, 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 I forgot about this. We're going to be timed, so we want to have the uh, Pegasus seeds on. So just go around like this. And now we want to put the sword on, instead of the seeds. The seat satchel. Whoa no, whoa no. Quick, quick, quick. Make sure you keep these two lit up. So you don't want them all going out, whatever you do. You lose, you know, you die. So you don't want that. I don't know if you die or if you just go back to the start of the dungeon, but either way. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that was close, I think. Yeah, very close. Here we go! So that's mini boss number two done. It will get... Only only get harder. There's only one more mini boss left. And this is what makes this, this place a bit more unique. There's a bit of um, a change from the formula. It's not just a mini boss, then a boss, and then done. Sort of thing. A couple of little mini bosses, sort of like in the Forest Temple of Ocarina of Time, where you would take on the different poles at different stages. Yeah, need another key for that, so we'll have to come back to that little thing. For this one, this is a bit strange. If we want to get across there, which we do, what we need to do is use the scent seeds with the slingshot and shoot them. It's the only seed type that hurts them. You could use another seed type, I think it's the mystery seed, and um, that would freeze them and then you can hit them a couple of times but they're not too hard anyway they walk around in a bit of a random fashion but otherwise they're not too bad once you kill the enemies you can come across here we might as well get rid of that now because we're done with it we'll need to collect some more sensi to later on but that's fine push one of these blocks this one and that'll start the, mag the magnetic squares around there anyway let's go around and now we need to do a little bit of magnet magnetizing. Magnetizing. Change on over to where is it? Here we go. Pegasus seeds. Here we go. Right, and now back to the magnetic plug. This is a little bit fiddly. I always find it fiddly when I have to do this, because sometimes if you don't do it just quick enough, you're just uh, gonna fall to your death. So wanna go for the blue one? No! No! Oh, fair. Okay. We want to go for the blue trampoline first. Uh, I'll show you it now. Bit annoying, but 
We'll get back to it in two seconds, don't worry. Come on, keep going around, keep going around. Keep, keep, keep. Now we can go. Right. We're gonna grab down the blue one, kill all the enemies while we're here. The blue ones take one hit while the red ones take two hits. Pretty much the same enemy. Here. Now go back down. That all that chai meant was that a uh, door was unlocked. And that is this oop, hold on. Hold on. The red trampolines take you up further than the blue ones. So that's why we want to do it second instead of first. Back down, back down. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Blue trampoline, if you want to just go back up. It's not much. Not much here. This is the end of the line this direction. So, whoop. Pretty awkward, this room. Because of the bats and the fact that the thingy doesn't stop the floor. So, get ready, get ready. Hey. And here we go, the inventory item of the dungeon. Rock's key. Let's check how much time we have left for a moment. Not much, but we'll carry on. Double jump, okay. So now instead of the rock's feather, we have the rock's key. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> you don't even need to use the Pegasus seeds anymore. But I will have to use them later on. Not just, not yet. You'll see what I mean. You will, you'll see. So... Across here. We still need to find a key, so what we need to do is go back up these stairs. It's not exactly far to the key, but it's far enough. It's far enough. Back up here and down the stairs over here. You'll know where it is when you see it now. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Back around, back around. There we go. Kill these while we're going. It's easier than using the magnetic glove as well. You can just double jump and you're done. This one time when I was practicing, I had a theory with it and that really helped. Now we can go right by here. And because we can double jump, we can go in diagonal sort of shapes, like L shapes. We want to kill these enemies, otherwise we're not going to be going any further. Go, that's easy enough. Uh, there's something we need to do with this, but we'll try jumping up first just in case I'm wrong. Nope, we need to go up three. Up three. Forget the stairs, there's literally no point to them. They just there is a sort of red herring. Whoop, there we go. And across, and get the magnetic glove back on, because we still need the, the glove for this sort of stuff. For the balls. What I do now. And we now have another small key. We need to go back to where the block was. <laughs> yeah, we need to get back to where the block was. So let's do just that. We need to get through this little puzzle again. <laughs> just get them all going. It's going to be the last one. It really was. A little bit annoying. Not really. Right, so, because it's by there, we can just push it down, push it across, and it's really nearby, so it's fine. Where was the block, anyways? Back down the stairs again, and I think it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. This way. And across here, and everything. Ooh! So much easier that was as well, didn't even have to duck under the spikes. Come on! Can't get much easier when you get this kid. But yeah, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we take on this room, which is pretty tricky in itself, and we make it through the rest of the dungeon, and maybe even make it to Dungeon 8. Like, I don't know, I can't really see it happening, but maybe. Anyway, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in a bit.